Hello, my name is Mars, and welcome back to Going Under. Um, I have a little bit of a problem, and it is this game. This is the third episode I am recording today. Uh, and I intellectually, I know that I should probably take a break from recording because... A, I have a pretty big backlog of episodes that will probably take like a week to I'll get up. And I've been having some technical issues behind the scenes. Long story short, my laptop does not have enough RAM for this hobby. And every time I record, edit, or upload a video, it eats my hard drive space. And I'm really scared of running out of space. Um, so... Yeah, I should probably hold off on recording more until I have bought and installed some extra RAM, but this game is just so fun, I can't stay away. <laughs> so yeah, I've decided that we're gonna actually go to Winky Dink today. I mean, for you it's today, for me it's the same day. We have enough money to buy a skill, so I'm gonna get Beta Tester using Apps Creates an Electric Shock. Which is a good one for us to get because we're gonna try out Kara's mentorship today. Hello, AV. Yo, AV, you've got a mountain's worth of recorded conversations from everyone in the office, right? So I suppose it'd be super unethical if I asked you to let me hear some of them. Cubicle prides itself on taking no official stance on any ethical dilemmas. In that case, can I hear Swamp and Fern hanging out? I can't imagine those two even having a conversation with each other. Loading conversation. Hey Fern, can I have some of those chips? Please stand back from my equipment, young sir. The slightest bump or nudge could ruin this new flavor I'm composing. <clears throat> oh man, but what if bumping it actually makes the flavor better? Then I'd be totally like an accidental genius. I suppose it's not completely inconceivable. I'm doing it. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> oh man, that smells terrible. Guess you were right all along, Ferno. I gotta clock out now, good luck cleaning that up. Conversation ended. Oh man, I hope I don't get addicted to this. <laughs> oh, we gotta throw you. Hi Fern. You any know anything about Joblin Fern? Not much at all, I'm afraid. Raymond always did admire their founder though. In fact, I believe it was Joblin that first inspired him to develop startups. Ever since Joplin was acquired by Cubicle, he told me it was his dream to do the same. Joplin was a Cubicle company too? Much like most successful startups around here, yes. Cubicle is responsible for funding, funding a staggering amount of innovation in the Neo-Cascadian city-state. Hey Ray, how's business? Oh, you already know we're crushing it, baby. I've had six video calls today and it's not even brunch. Now that's productivity. Ba boom. That was awfully close to the fetch and I could tell how loud it was. Wanna hang out after work, babe? No offense, Swamp, but I don't really get the feeling you have a lot in common. I know how to get up onto the balcony. We could try to spin on Marv's car from there. Honestly, that's surprisingly tempting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe some other time. Suit yourself, babe. I like Swamp. He's totally non-threatening. You all want to hear my Swamp head cannons? <laughs> he is Jewish, he is asexual, and he is autistic. I am two of those things, and the third thing, I just think it would be cool if Swamp was. Great guy. You always look so worn out, Jackie. I hope Marv isn't working you too hard. To be honest, I could really use a breather. Is there a drinking fountain around here or something? Nope, we've got plenty of fizzle though. Great, awesome, cool. All right. There's just Tappy and Declare. Pepper! <laughs> Jackie, I think you're cool and all, but if you ever call my dog a pupper again, I'm calling the cops. Boofer? Don't test me, Jackie. Doggo? My finger's on the nine. Dog? <laughs> Go 
god, laptops are just the worst. Really? I think they're pretty useful. I mean, I haven't been able to afford a new one since my college laptop kicked the bucket, but that's my whole point, intern. You know they do that on purpose, right? All your stuff's designed to become a piece of junk within a couple of years, just to keep you a consumer. And that new annual model they're trying to sell you is always packed full of even more bloatware than the last. You know what? I'm mad now. Go into the dungeon and match a whole bunch of laptops so I can live vicariously through you. Destroy 15 laptops. Kara's in here, her Neil Breen phase. Alright, so we're gonna go down to Winky Dink. And since we just got... We unlocked Kara as a mentor. We're gonna take her. So she allows us to hold two apps at once. Alright. A lot of these tasks we have right now are Joblin specific. They front load the game with a lot of those because they think you're going to spend more time on Joblin than I have. We'll go back there eventually and get these tasks done. But for now, I just want to get some variety going. Winky Dink is a dating app. And the dungeon... <laughs> is partially themed around workplace sexual harassment. It's fun, I promise. You also get stuff like water guns. Oh, and a laptop. We can destroy this laptop for Kara. Okay, Coop Snoop lowers the prices in shops, which is great for us, because we have a shop right here. It's also themes around, like, hell and stuff. <laughs> so let's meet our new shopkeeper. This is Lily. Wow, look at that, fresh meat. How's the Winky Dink office treating you so far, hun? This place honestly doesn't even look like an office. Everything here makes me wildly uncomfortable. Yeah, we get that a lot. Take it from me, hun. Don't raise a stink about the boss's aesthetic choices, or you'll be out in the street faster than you can swipe left. Oh yeah, the boss. I think I'm supposed to find that guy. You want to talk to the boss? That's a first. Keep heading down the levels and you'll smell him eventually. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Keep your wits about you, hun. There's a lot of fan art of Lily as you can imagine. All right, let's use our Coop Snoop. And it doesn't help us one bit. We can buy a rifle. I prefer melee weapons too. Um. Melee weapons too, ranged weapons, I would say. there, sir. Alright, where's that body pillow? Oh, it's already broken, but it's a great weapon. Ooh. Free skill. Break hits deal more damage. And let's get a skill from here, too. Gain strength when more people are nearby. Yeah. Alright, let's take a foam finger too. Break it, do more damage. Alright, nice. Yeah, see, Winky Dink is already a lot easier than Six Coin. Gotta love those bed creaking sounds in the soundtrack. Oh, there was a laptop I could have destroyed. I'm gonna go back and do that. Yeah. Any more laptops? I haven't gotten a chance to show off how you can hold multiple apps. I use that coupon too fast. 
Ghosted. Alright. Those ones are annoying. The girl demons. Delivery for Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan. Regain lost health lost health by quickly defeating the last monster that hurt you. Alright. We'll see how that goes for us. Alright, so we're already at floor two. Going very smoothly. Much like people who use the Winky Dink app. Very smooth. You can't tell, but I am jamming out with my head right now. Oh, oh shoot. Big Amoozy. Okay. God. When are we gonna endorse a skill? Okay. Not much to do other than just talk to everybody. I recorded a conversation you may be interested in. Oh, so you just assume I want to listen in on people's private lives now? What kind of weirdo do you think I am? It was just a one time, it was a few times thing. I'm not gonna do any more, it's unethical. Understood, erasing Marv scheming 068.wave. No way I changed my mind playing it, playing it. All the preppers are preparations are ready. All that's left is for the intern to finish gathering those relics. But there's no time. She's so useless. Why couldn't Avi assign us someone who knows how to fight? I'd go down into the dungeon myself, but I just don't have the stomach to fight those nasty monsters. Hi, Marv. You're here awful late. Oh, uh, hi, Tappy. I was just talking to myself about project manager things. It's a new uh, productivity strategy. They call it pre-auto-analysis. Did you hear any of it? Just out of curiosity. Nope, I had my wireless air cube hair headphones in. Didn't hear a thing. Ah, one of Cubicle's finest products. You have great taste as always. Conversation ended. Well, that settles it. Marv is definitely up to something. And I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Like, maybe next week when I'm less busy. Yeah, hit the wall. So Marv's got you digging around in the Winky Dink offices now. Yup, it's a mess down there. Can't be worse than actually using the app. All the guys I ever met in there were complete hellspawn. Literally. And the girls never messaged me back at all. Yikes. I'm sorry, Kara. Eh, don't sweat it. Dating isn't the end-all be-all of existence. I invest my emotional energy in more fruitful things, like dog ownership. Ruff, ruff. You know what, Claire? Sometimes I think you might be the smartest person in this office. Wow, I'm right here, dude. She's just jealous of Claire. Don't listen to her. Ruff! <laughs> Ray, you ever hear of Winky Dink? Oh, you bet. You used to be best buddies with buddies with the founder. That guy knows how to party. For real? Can you tell me anything about him? He's a social mastermind. Real good at understanding what people want in an app. When he told me he was founding a dating startup, I knew he'd crush it. And sure enough, it wasn't long before he got bought out by Cubicle, just like yours truly. Does he have any, uh, weaknesses? Like, character flaws? Yeah, or like, physical ones. Maybe like, glowing weak spots or something like that? You know what, never mind. Oh, so from Ray, we can actually get insights into the, the bosses that we fight. The literal bosses. That's kind of interesting. I never really like noticed that before. You ever use dating apps, Tappy? Well, I like used to, I guess, like mess around on Winky Dink. 
Nothing great ever really came of it, though. Women seeking women on mainstream dating apps is, to say the least, an uphill struggle. Whatever happened to that app anyway? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, there are people who ship Kara and Tappy because they're both women who love women. Um, I'm not super on board with it. Um, once we get a little more into Tappy's character, I can explain that more. I just feel like they differ on such a fundamental philosophical level that it could never work. Um, that's just my thoughts on it. Feel free to ship and, ship and let ship, y'all. Heard you've been messing around in Winky Dink, babe. I don't want to unpack that phrasing, but sure, I guess I have. A lot of babes of mine were using the app to get dates a few years ago. I always wonder what happened to it. Turns out the company went under and they all morphed into two provocatively clad demons. Who knew? <laughs> yeah, wild world. Marv. We heard you scheming, you piece of crap. Any luck with those demons? Not really. There's a lot of fire down there. Could I get a special suit or something? Don't be ridiculous, Jackie. We're on a shoestring budget here. Try to be a little more considerate of everyone else at the company. We've all got our own challenges to deal with. Great advice, Marv. I'll kill all those demons by being considerate. Alright, let's try Winky Dink again. And we'll stick with Kara for now. So I can get a chance to get two apps at the same time. Apps are kind of weird. They don't always... Sometimes you spawn a lot of them, and sometimes you spawn, like, none. It's kind of weird. Alright, a foam finger. It took me a long time to figure out the significance of the hand imagery in this dungeon. Um, I won't take the time to explain it to you, but see if you can... ...deduce it. Haha! <laughs> I'm getting all the laptops. Alright, my foam finger is already breaking. So I'm gonna get a new one. This one's breaking as well. And let's get a fire extinguisher. Gain a small discount at all shops. Eating food increases your strength for a bit. Um, they've been suggesting, they've been offering stress eater to me a lot and I have taking it. <laughs> so what the hell. Oh. And we can buy a blank card. <laughs> Gotta make sure to get rid of all the laptops. Or, okay, here it is. Here we go. We got a business card. Oh, we got something from sticks. Kilo bat, right. We killed a kilo bat. The sheer amount of data stored in the sticks ledger eventually gave birth to these creatures. Eternally hungry for crypto, they'll slam themselves into the ground to devour any they see. And a wimp. A beta tester. These hapless imps wander the halls of Winky Dink, forever desperate for a date. I don't know why no one would give them a chance. They're such nice guys. I think I got an idea. I need an actual weapon. Alright, let's just smash it with an amphora. <laughs> a tablet pen, okay. 
All right, we are destroying these laptops. And we probably have enough money for a... Yeah. What does Winky Dick actually do? Isn't it obvious? It's a dating app. Oh, that actually seems kind of... Oh. Where you can only talk in emoji. Normal. That sounds absolutely terrible. Why would anyone use that? It's actually a decent gimmick. I mean, I've never found any dates on it. But watching guys stumble their way through asking for tail pictures makes for great entertainment. Alright. So if we get confidence juice, this will make us um, invincible in our next combat. For a few seconds at least. Oh, and since we got... All right, we better. Uh, we better go fast so we don't lose this. Okay. Jobs in Winky Dink, how they work is that you can choose which mini boss you fight, and if you defeat the mini boss um, after getting hit once or less, uh, the mini boss will then join you as um, a companion until they die, basically. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Cutscene. So, uh, anyone want to tell me what we're all doing in Ray's office? I generally only set it foot in here to get shouted at by Ray, or vice versa. Such a large office. It fills me with inspiration and yet also envy and contempt. What that I could capture this emotion in a flavor. Everyone, give your attention to Ray, please. I didn't just bring you all up here for the view. Yikes. What crawled up Marth's button down today? I know, right? Welcome to my office, squad. I figured this might be a nicer place to drop some important news on y'all. Also, I didn't want to walk all the way downstairs. I think I sprained something doing hot yoga. Sounds hot. <laughs> now there's some good news and some bad news. The good news is, you're all friggin' awesome. Give yourselves a pat on the back from me. Yo, Avi, give them the bad news. <laughs> He's just like Chris from Parks and Rec. As is common knowledge, the soft lunch of Fisco occurred at 10 a.m. yesterday morning. Many of our key MVP features were absent, and the app also experienced major stability issues. Since then, Fisco has built to meet a single one of our KPIs, including ROL, ROR, ROE, TLA, and GMO. I don't understand a word of this. They're saying we suck, Fern. More specifically, they're saying my team sucks. Yo, AV, maybe we should have had the features done on time. We would have had them done on time if they weren't completely insane. I asked Marv how an app could possibly measure how much fizzle someone drinks, and his response was, maybe something with nanobots. Wait, that's a great idea, though. <laughs> Kara, be nice. I'm sure AV worked really hard on their presentation. AV doesn't work hard on anything. She's an algorithm, you brainless Kara. See, already you can see that there's a lot of animosity between Kara and Tappy, and I don't think it's uh, shippy animosity, in my opinion. I think it's just they hate each other. Mm. Are you finished, Kara? Mm -hmm. Yo, Avi, continue, please. I have outlined two minor changes to Fizzle's product that will increase the app's user retention and save the project with a clutchness index of over 4.3. One, a new design for Fizzle Cans that will require user registration and use of the app in order to open. Two, a new series of Fizzle 2.0 flavors that will be designed and produced via machine learning based on user data gathered from Fizzgo. Hold on a moment. Am I un to understand that Avi is essentially replacing me as senior flavorist then? Don't be alarmed, Bernard. 
As the flavorist, you will have full control over the flavor algorithm's weight parameters, allowing you to manipulate the neural network to your whim. I don't know what those words mean! <laughs> My passion is creating flavor, not fiddling with computer knobs. You can't let them do this, Raymond. What Avi's trying to say is that people are drinking less and less fizzle. We need some big brain flavor ideas to shake things up and get the kids fizzling again. And no one's got a bigger brain than the smart office, so why not give it a crack at designing some flavors of its own? <laughs> oh, he turned around, he's so sad. You made me a promise. You changed, Ray. Don't worry, y'all. I'm sure he'll come around. Keep up the good work, everyone. We've had some setbacks, but I just know these changes are going to be great for us. Oh, we're up here in Ray's office. Okay. Oh, durability up. Can I destroy this laptop? <laughs> I'm gonna destroy Ray's laptop. Oh. Oh, it didn't count though. Oh well. Okay. I think that's gonna do it for today's episode. Um, I'll just go down the slide real quick. So, um, yeah, I just need to get a little going under, less playing out of my system. <laughs> so, yeah. I've got some stuff to work out with my computer, but hopefully that'll all work itself out eventually, and I'll stop freaking out about losing, losing storage space. I've got an external hard drive coming to store all my videos on but right now the processing space is my biggest concern. Um, oh, I moved her while she was sitting. But, yeah, th this episode might have been like the last hurrah before I take a short break. Luckily, I have like six videos in the tube ready to, ready to post to YouTube, and I'm trying to post every other day. So, like, this will go all the way up till next Monday, I think, is what I have right now. Um, but yeah, I have been Mars. Thank you for watching, and I will be back soon with more Going Under.